This week on GTN Unboxing, we have a couple of bits of kit from Park Tool that will help with your own home bike mechanics and maintenance. We have the SK3 Home Mechanic Starter Toolkit, which is brimming full of useful tools. And we have the PRS25 Team Issue Repair Stand, so you can prop your bike up and use those tools. So it is the perfect combo, and that perfect combo will be up for grabs. So to find out how to get your hands on these, just stay tuned until the end of this video where I'll explain how. But for you to enter into that, you're going to need to know a little bit about these products. So let's get started on the Home Mechanic Starter Kit. So then the SK3 Home Mechanics Starter Kit is aimed at those novice home mechanics. So within here, we have all the essential tools to really help get you started, to help clean, to adjust, to maintain, and even do sort of basic bike repairs. Now, conveniently, this all comes in this rather smart park tool hard case, which you can then store all those new tools in. But obviously, there's plenty of room within there to start adding to that collection over time. So let's take a look inside and see what we've got in there. So we open up here this rather nice latch. We've actually got a little tray here on the top, so you can just divide out all your tools within here. I tend to put all my small parts in these little trays on the top, bearings and all sorts of things like that. Now, let's pull one out. We've got this hex wrench. This is all within the AWS 11 hex wrench toolkit, which is really handy for those sort of small jobs or even for just being nice and easy to transport, bung in your bag. We've got everything from a three mil up to a 10 mil there, so the real essentials. We've also got a set of tire levers here. These are the TL 1.2. Now we've actually got a set of three tire levers here, all for helping to remove and replace your tires. Now the design has been slightly updated with new material to make it slightly stronger. It's also been slightly redesigned on the tip here to help with easier entry for more or less any tire, including tubeless. And all of these can actually connect together nice and easily, like so, just click in. So hopefully you won't lose them all. Very nice. The next bit we've got is a screwdriver. This is the SD2. And that's the common crosshead screwdriver or Phillips head screwdriver. And you can see that by just looking on the end here with the cross. So when you're rummaging through your tools, you can easily see that. And that's really handy for doing any derailleur adjustments, your limit screws, things like that. So that's a very handy tool and it's very ergonomic as well. Very nice and comfy to hold. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Um, nah well this is very useful tool and actually massively undervalued and underused in my opinion. Now we all know that a worn chain results in poor shifting and also the wearing down of our sprockets on our cassettes and things like that. So it's really important that we check the wear of our chain. So this is where this comes in, it is the CC 3.2 chain checker tool. And that's designed to accurately indicate when a chain reaches 0.5% and 0.75% elongation, which going by the chain manufacturers, this is the point at which they believe a chain needs replacing. Now the 0.5% generally refers to the 11 and 12 speed chains, whilst the 0.75 generally refers to the nine and 10 speed chains. So that is a very handy tool. And whilst we're talking about chains, I did spot just now, we have this nice mini chain link tool. And this has got a quite a simple design actually. It's got this little V-shaped handle coming off, so you can hold on to it here. And this is basically to help you take the pins out of or even to install new pins into a chain. So you just place the chain down through these grooves and you can just use this nice little handle to push a pin out or push a pin into it. And that's compatible with anything between five and 12 speed chains. So that's a great tool. And we even have another chain tool here. And this is the MLP 1.2 Master Link pliers. Now this is for those chains that use a master link. So as opposed to using a chain tool like this one from before where you'd knock a pin out to remove the chain, with a master link, 
All you need to do is apply pressure from either side of the Mercer link and the chain will basically pop apart. Now in theory that sounds very easy but as most people know the chains get quite grimy and dirty over time. So these Mercer links can be actually quite hard to release and also quite dirty. So by using the Mercer link plier you can keep your hands both nice and clean but it's also very easy so you just pop it into the master link apply a little bit of pressure and ping the chain will come apart so that's a very very handy tool now we've got a very important tool in here this is the 15 mil pedal wrench now if you've ever been left shouting expletives at your pedals because you literally can't get them off they are completely stuck solid then you will understand the importance of one of these wrenches because they really help to get your pedals off. By getting that leverage on the pedals, it really helps, but obviously also to get the pedals on as well, it could be really useful, so great tool. Another one that is fantastic, and I cannot, cannot believe I did not get hold of this one earlier. This can really help with your home bike mechanics for all those gears, brakes, any cabling really. This is the CN10 Professional Cable and Housing Cutters. And that's designed specifically for bicycle cables and it's also got a built-in crimper for those cable end caps. And of course it's got this nice ergonomic grip as we've seen on some of the other products already. And then to hold the handles together, we've got this little wire latch here. So nice and neat. Now we've also got in here a spoke tool. In fact, this is the triple spoke tool is the SW 7.2. And that's got openings for the three most common spoke nipple sizes, 3.23, 3.3 and 3.45 mil. And because Torx key fittings are becoming increasingly popular, we've got a one off standalone Torx key here in an L shape in a T25 size, which is one of the most common and more popular sizes. So that's quite handy to have that on its own. And we also have this pre-glued super patch kit. And this is actually a really handy bit of kit because all you have to do, if I open up now, you just use the little piece of sandpaper that's in here to roughen the tube and then clean it off and then just apply one of these handy self-adhesive patches. And there you go, you're ready to go. You can pump the tube back up and off you go. Um, final tool in the box here, and this is the GSC-1 gear cleaning brush. On one end, you can use these nylon bristles to get into the derailleur, the chain, to really get rid of the dirt from there, but also other areas that collect dirt, like the brake calipers and things like that. We also have on the other end, this curved serrated edge. Now this is really handy for getting into those areas that may be hard to get into, quite deep, sort of like in between your cassette cogs. So you can get in there, work that dirt out. So very handy tool. And all in all, we've got a very good selection of tools there, all the essentials and a very nice handy case to put it all in. All we need now is somewhere to prop that bike up whilst we use these tools. Yeah. So this is the PRS 25 Team Issue Repair Stand, and it is another one of those tools that I took far too long to get myself. I've got one very similar to this from Park Tool, and I feel a little bit silly for taking so long to get one. It makes life so much easier. The basic idea is that you can clamp your bike into one of these stands and work on it at a nice, sensible height. So you could be working on it at a sitting height, standing height. In fact, this stand goes all the way up to 152 centimeters. So rather than you working on your bike all crouched over on the floor, you could play at a really nice height and make life a lot easier for yourself. Now, one of the main big differences about this stand compared to a lot of others on the market is not only that it's very good, but also it's very portable. So it folds down to just 119 centimeters. So really quite compact and weighs in at just six kilograms. So very easy to transport, take away with you, perhaps even taking it to races so you can do some last minute checks on your bike with it. Or even if you're just limited for space in your home, like me, you want to do some work on your bike, collapse it down and then put it away. So really easy for that. Um, and on the subject of traveling with it, you can actually get a nice storage case for this and you can collapse your stand down 
put that in the case nice and safely. You can even remove the clamp as I have here and then securely fasten that into the case. So that's a really good option, very good design. Now one thing you did miss was me building this up and as easily as it collapses down, it builds back up. And I am your classic male. I like to ignore the instructions and it only took me a couple of minutes, so it must be easy. Um, and it does, it does just use these quick release levers, which are very simple, so I just release that, pull this part out. So they've made it very easy for you to do that. Now let's take a closer look at that all important clamp that we've been talking about. Yeah, this is the star of the show, and you can really tell that Park Tool spent some serious amount of time designing and developing this clamp. It's called their Micro Adjust Clamp because you can finely adjust as you're clamping to fit pretty much any tube size from 23mm through to 76mm, even your aero tubes. Now, also with this Micro Adjust, what it allows you to do is finely adjust the pressure, which is very important if you're dealing with those very precious frames of yours, those carbon frames, you can just get that pressure spot on without going overboard. Now, another thing on here is this cam actuated system you can see on the top here. Now, this allows you to quickly and very easily clamp on, adjust, and clamp off. Now, this is very handy if you're popping bikes in and out continually, perhaps even the same bike. You're doing adjustments on it, pulling it back out, riding it, or spinning the wheels, whatever you're doing, you want to just quickly be able to clamp on it and clamp off rather than winding it on and winding it off. So really handy system there, very, very clever. You also can change the angle of this clamp. So using this big lever on the back here, we can now move this clamp through a whole 360 degrees so you can find any position you like. So you should really have no excuses for finding the perfect setup, perfect position, perfect angle for your bike. Now you might be wondering whether this can withstand your weighty winter hack or perhaps even your mountain bike. And you'll be pleased to know that it has a rating of up to 45 kilograms, which I would say covers pretty much every bike out there, including most e-bikes. Although if you do ride a bike that weighs up to 45 kilograms or more, then well, we would love to hear from you because that is quite impressive. Um, the stand itself is made mostly from aluminium to try and keep the weight low. As we mentioned earlier, it comes in at around six kilograms with the clamp as well. Although they have used steel for some of the clamping mechanism and also for the quick release levers. So all in all, it's a very light bit of kit, although it feels somewhat reassuringly sturdy. So they've done a very good job of that. They've also got a couple of opening ports here on the stand and also on the clamp up here to allow you to add some extra bits. So you've got a little work tray that come out here. You've got a little holder for some towel as well to clean your hands. Also a little wheel truing device that can come off here. So if you're interested and you like to build on a really smart bit of kit, then you can invest in some extra parts. Now, if you like the look of this setup with both a home mechanic starter kit and a team issue repair stand, and you'd like it in your own home, then you can enter our giveaway now. We have two sets up for grabs. And to enter that, all you need to do is go down to the link in the description below this video and just answer a quick question about one of these products. So I hope you've been listening. Now, before you do head on over there, why not give this video a thumbs up and why not subscribe to GTN if you're not doing so already? And if you'd like to check out one of our videos with Park Tool's very own Calvin Jones, our Ask a GTN video, just click down here. And if you'd like to see six essential tools that every triathlete should own, just click down here.